we're seeing an increasing amount of thinking and conversation around using agile and agility in organizational design. I've been running an agile organization since before I started Coltramp. I started in the film industry and now in the software I've been doing it in both. And there's a couple of lessons that I've learned along the way. Firstly, nothing is for free. So when you switch to an agile model, you get a lot of benefits, but some of the things that worked well in a traditional model are weaknesses in agile. For example, standardizing work across an agile organization is much, much harder than it is in a more traditional functional model. Second, change is hard. Change is hard for the organization. There's all these systems that you have to build, all these things that you have to communicate, but change is also really hard for every person that comes in. They have to leave behind the things they've learned somewhere else and learn your new way. And this can actually elongate the time it takes for someone to be successful in your company. Third, language matters. When you're labeling something in an agile organization, balancing between familiarity, what they already know a term might mean, and the baggage associated with how they've used that in the past is really important. At CultureAmp, we made the choice early on that rather than calling people managers, we would call them mentors. It was great in the sense that it freed people from some of the behaviors that we didn't want them to uh, have as a manager or a mentor, but what it meant was that people brought in their own view of what a mentor was. You have to be very careful when you relabel something in an agile organization.